Chapter 20 What is that secret asset? You have a secret asset, an invisible asset, a confidential asset, that you are. Find out what it is. Sit quietly for a few moments and see what happens. Just glimpses of eye, that's all. Nothing else. This little glimpse of eyeness is caught up and mingled with the body, which first of all causes us to accept the body as our identity and secondly drives us here and there looking for happiness. What is happiness? What is peace? Why do we fear birth and death? and so many other things all the time. There is neither birth nor death. It is because we are measuring ourselves in the body form that we feel we are going to die. All these concepts have been engraved in us. They have been wrapped around us, suffocating and strangling us since our childhood days. Don't read books that will distract you from reality. There are thousands of books on spirituality. Everyone seems to have written something according to his own imagination and those concepts that have conditioned him. Don't read books that are full of concepts and descriptions about ultimate reality. These concepts will only serve to distract you from ultimate reality. Why? Because you are reality. You do not need books to know yourself. Look at you. You know yourself better than anyone. You know that the body is not your identity at all. You can hold the body Take care of it and carry out your responsibilities. Don't sit idly saying, I am a spiritual man. Attend to your work and carry out your duties. You can do it. At the same time, try and concentrate on that invisible concentrator within you that is ultimate truth. This knowledge is very simple knowledge. You are ultimate truth. That is your secret asset which is, as yet, unknown to you.